There's probably not a shred of truth in Weird, the screen biography of Weird Al Yankovic, but that's okay. He made his name lampooning hit records, so why wouldn't a film about him be a parody of biographies? Starring Daniel Radcliffe as the accordion-playing musician, Weird suggests he had a relationship with Madonna, created Eat It before Michael Jackson scored with Beat It, and had a close encounter with drug lord Pablo Escobar when he wouldn't sing at his birthday party. Directed by Eric Capel, the clever account even includes close encounters with everyone from Andy Warhol to Wolfman Jack. This is I, Tanya for a generation that grew up on my Bologna, I love Rocky Road, and like a surgeon. Radcliffe does a great job selling the myth, but you can tell this is a bigger satire than anything Al wrote. When Radcliffe whips off his shirt, he reveals a Batman-level set of abs. Al never had anything like that. A relationship with Madonna, played by Evan Rachel Wood, goes a bit too far, but it's all in good fun. Like other celebrity biographies, Weird suggests Yankovic had a tough childhood. His dad wanted him to work at a factory. He just wanted to play accordion. When they part ways, Al is left to build his career in the most unlikely places of all. A who's who of comedians plays those performers who drifted in and out of his life, and yes, the real Al Yankovic is lurking here too. What's so delightful about this is how willingly we accept the absurd. When a party of misfits hears him sing, we're right there cheering. Many of the guest actors don't look like the characters they're portraying, and Radcliffe is probably too short to pass for Yankovic, but that doesn't matter. The joyousness of Weir is just what we need during political season. If you're unsure who to vote for next week, write in Weird Al. We could do a lot worse. With your movies in a minute, I'm Bruce Miller.